Hello everybody, welcome to Poly Bridge. This game will be coming out on June 30th, 19... 19? Oh my god, 2015. Uh, the developers were kind enough to send me a review copy. Uh, just early enough so I can give you guys a first impressions on it. And we're going to be doing a little series on it. I'll tell you what the game is about. Unleash your creativity with an engaging and fresh bu bridge building simulator with all the bells and whistles. Enjoy hours of physics based puzzle solving with a 60 plus levels and then jump into the sandbox to create your own bridge design and puzzles. So right now, uh, there's the campaign. It says there are 60 plus levels. Uh, we'll test that to see if that's true. Sandbox uh, appears to be locked. I'm not sure if that'll be open on uh, release on June 30th or not. Hopefully it will be, because Sandbox would be fun. It'd be fun to actually make your own puzzles. It'll give this game a lot of replay. So basically what this game is, is exactly what you think. You're going to be creating bridges. It has a, its own physics engine, so you're going to have to deal with that. You're going to have to deal with different vehicles crossing the bridge, uh, different functions of the bridge, like we just saw right here with that little B example, where it's going to lift them, allow boats to pass. There's a whole bunch of stuff involved. I did the first few puzzles. I've played around a little bit. Got a feel for the game. Heck, there are even, you can make jumps for cars, multiple cars, and have them smack in each other. It looks like a lot of fun, so let's just go ahead and get started. I guess so here we are in the very basic, uh, well, the beginning of the campaign screen. This is after you play, play the tutorial. I skipped that. Uh, you guys can see the tutorial on your own. It just shows you the very bare bones. I'll be going over a brief, uh, reintroduction of that. But we're going to start at the very beginning, an 8 meter simple bridge. Our budget is $7,000 and we have a station wagon to get across. It says we have materials as iron, but I don't know if I just don't have access to it yet or what, but all right, starting off with the roads, click and drag. You can see by the circle the furthest distance you can actually drag these. So there we go. Uh, press spacebar to get our wood. And now we have to figure out a support system for this. And now basi basically what I've been doing is just like thinking of what bridges I've seen in real life and then just trying to model it after this like cuz I'm no I'm no bridge engineer. I know shocking. You think I'd be with my mad bridge building skills, but unfortunately, I am not. Uh, da -da, let's go there. To there. And I'm just using the the very light lines it shows you to try and line everything up. So this is a good bridge, I think. Let's see, it's gonna, this is gonna fall in. Uh, should we go across like that? Sure, why not? Okay, we are actually over budget. Uh, so let's just see how it does without that. We're gonna hit shift to test it. Oh, there we go. Worked perfectly and we're under budget. Uh, just to show you guys again, uh, I can turn stress on up here and now see how they're green. And yeah, they change the color a little bit. Normally they'll go from green to yellow to orange to red. Uh, to show you the stress that the various parts are under. So there we go. Budget spent, 6,000, not bad. Uh, max stress joints, 29.4%. Material footprint. So uh, these will be eventually be able to compare these to other people with, with the online data, but since this game is not out yet, that is clearly not there. Level complete. Moving on. Okay, a 10 millimeter, not millimeter, 10 meter bridge, $8,000, two city cars. Alright, so city cars are lighter, but we do have two of them going across, so that is something to keep in mind. The nice thing when you start each map, it already has the um, the road selected, so you don't need to bother. But then you need to hit space and switch over. Now, this map is different because it's a longer distance, but we do have a, another support system in the middle. So we need to figure out a way to connect it to that. Now, just to show you guys all along the way, there we go. I just wanted to show you the stress levels. Even though, heck, this might work. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. Even though that works, we're gonna keep working on it. Because we still have $6,000 to spend, and that was kind of lame. That should. I feel like that shouldn't have worked. This thing is like barely being held together. Let's do none above. Uh, let's try and let's lift everything from the bottom, shall we? So let's have these connect there. Connect there. Okay. We should be able to stay under budget. Okay, and these connect there. Oh, that's too far. Let's see how that works. Well, I actually didn't really seem to do too much. Um, <laughs> let's see, maybe if we could do that. There we go. Okay, that is much sturdier. Look at that. 
So I'm assuming there will later be games that have like a maximum stress joint and more constricting budget and fair material footprints. Also, online leaderboards, I'm assuming. So that'll be nice. That'll give it a little more of a, a little more of a competition. Moving right along, 16 meter. We have a station wagon and a car. All right, so as you can see, things are getting a little more complicated as we go on. Heck, we could even do like a raised bridge if we didn't want to do just a straight one. Uh, for some reason, it's not quite meeting up. It's not perfectly symmetrical. There we go. Just look at him, and you go to your doom. There you go. <laughs> I knew that wasn't gonna work. I was just messing around. What's? Oh, that's not a road. Give me wood. Thank you. Okay, go up, up. So there you go. You can see each each thing you do gives slightly stronger stability. So you can kind of uh, make pause and like see your progress as you go. Uh, let's have that go down. Can that reach? That can reach. Okay. There we go. And have those support there. So there you go. Now you can see the middle is much stronger. Quite a bit of stress over there. Ooh, that's a heavy boy. Okay. Oh, it's showing me. Is it showing me like where stress was? Oh no, that's just the one that selected. Okay, I thought it was being smart and like, hey, there's a stress over here, but I guess not. Okay, my, my biggest pet peeve in this game is going to be make, make ensuring that things are symmetrical. Because that's going to drive me crazy. Especially if things do not get symmetrical. I really like the music in this game so far. It's very calming, just nice acoustic guitar. It's very nice. So let's relax and build some bridges, shall we? Oh, that's what we're missing. Okay, let's connect that. There we go. Completely supporting from the bottom. Fantastic. We're getting a little bit of red in there. 81%. Hey, no, that's okay. Ah, oh, this this one. I remember this one. Yeah, so for a while I was trying to just have it go up like that. And then kind of level off here. But the problem here is gravity. It's going to want to pull everything down. So instead of making like a... If, if there were any joints here, maybe it would work. But since there are... I love the undo noise, by the way. It's adorable. There's no, like, erase tool, though, unfortunately. Um, you can only undo. Maybe that'll get fixed in the future. So what I've been doing here is kind of just working with it. Working with the, uh... Kind of, like... Uh, it's like a drawbridge for me. Because it's going to do that no matter what. I mean, it's it, the car's making it. Oh, my God. <laughs> that should not have worked. Okay, we're going to actually work on improving this. Because I don't want to leave it just at that. I'm s I'm amazed that worked. <laughs> okay. Oh man. So what I did here, um, which is kind of, since since it is kind of a weird drawbridge, I'm going to and not everything's going to be perfectly symmetrical here. I'm okay with that. We've all gotta we got we gotta move on with our lives, you know. There we go. Especially up here, it's gonna get kind of cramped. And then connect all these. So I'm just basically trying to take some of the load off these joints and see if that works. And there you go. Much smoother than last time, even though technically it did work. 73% as opposed to like 100%, whatever it was. And still way under budget. Oh, damn, we got a first jump. Okay, so we got to take Mr. Scoot up here. I think we could speed him up and slow him down, too. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Nope, not 140%. Okay, let's go 75%. So he's going to jump off there. He's actually making it rather far on his own. I'm kind of proud of him. Okay. Uh, I think I think just one little ramp should do it. Let's grab some wood. And thank God we have this anchor down here. Because otherwise that would be a little tricky. Now let's go ahead and connect those. I can't connect these. Can I? Oh, I can. Okay. So there we go. And sick jumps. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Okay, so let's go ahead and add another segment of road up there. Because you only... Some some of the challenges do have restrictions. Like, we only have two pieces of road to use, unfortunately. So that's what makes this a little trickier. But this should hold. Hopefully, it can bear his weight. There we go. 
Perfect jump, buddy. Good job. And only 38% stress. Not bad. Let's see. Like, I wonder if we can actually remove some of the stress. Oops. Going up here. Oh. Okay, apparently this is a wood max usage as well. Okay. It's fast motion. There we go. Good job. Moving on to an 18 meter jump. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. So we only have this one anger here. We don't have one there. So we can't rely on the force being pushed up against this bed by that other anchor. So we're gonna need all the force to go straight down. So we gotta grab a road. Okay, we only have so many roads available. Okay, now we need to grab wood. And basically what I want to do is kind of create like a V here, like a funnel shape. Because right now, yeah, it's all going to fall down. But, if we can do what I intend to do. Let's just connect that to there. And we have unlimited wood on this one, so that's good. Because this is going to get pretty... Pretty ugly and crazy. Just want to make sure that's all holding together. Okay, you go there. You go there. You, can you not reach there? Fine. Go there. Okay. I just think I have too many joints here. Ugh, that's really ugly. Let's try and connect that a little bit, shall we? Okay, it's collapsing right here. Can that connect now? So we're gonna need another joint there. Let's go ahead and connect all those. Yeah, if this had a wood... Oh, man! Oh, jeez, okay. That somehow worked. <laughs> Let's see, I want to make this a little stronger over here. There we go. That should take some of the stress off there. So it's not too not too lovely looking. Actually, if we do that, there, there. Oh, it's looking much better. Beautiful. Okay, now we just need a landing pad. Oh, but we're pretty low on money. Crap. Okay, let's get a road. Just have that go out just a little bit because they're barely not making it. Grab the wood. Over budget, okay. Okay, as long as it can hold. Yeah, we're then we're good. Nope. Okay, so that apparently is a very crucial small piece of wood. Okay, that's holding just fine. Road. Oh, I'm not trying to create roads, damn it. Over budget, okay. Over budget, but that should. Oh my god! So th they won't make that, huh? We might have to redo this whole thing. Hmm. Oops. Now we need that very important piece. No, stop it. I keep hitting Z, dang it. Okay, how much? Do we only have. Oh, we only have one piece of road left. So they have to make it to there. Okay, let's just clear it. Yep. Okay, drag on over here. Let's rework this, shall we? Okay, I decided to just screw the landing. Let's just make the jump even bigger. And. Nailed it. Excellent. Very steady. The, uh, still barely under budget, so we'll count that as a wind. 
Okay, 60 meter jump. Oy. Okay. Hey, I think this is where I got stuck last time. And looks like I... Wait, does that... There has to be a drawbridge there? Go, guys. What are you, what are you doing? What is that car doing? I'm confused by that. Okay, that was a glitch. It loaded both the maps on top of each other. This makes far more sense now. <laughs> I thought that was happening because that station wagon was, was just kind of floating there. Okay. Uh, let's... Because we need a joint, like, right there. So let's just bring that all the way over. Let that just snap. Okay. Um, I'm a little confused because it's not giving me the option for the hydraulics, so... Not entirely sure what it wants me to do there, but we'll just build it. And see what goes on. Like maybe the hydraulics aren't included in the game yet? That's a bit strange. We'll see though. Oops, no, did not make it that. I need this to be the same height as those. Connect across. That's yeah, gonna snap in the middle. But luckily, we have a nice little low bearing point right there. Oh, I want to see what happens when it smashes into it. Bam! <laughs> okay. We need this. Hmm. I just like watching that. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure it told me to right click to make that a split. Hmm. So yeah, because do we have like the iron? We have the hydraulics. It's not giving me the option. Hmm. Well, we're about done for this episode anyway. Uh, I guess maybe I'll shoot off a email to the developer and see what's what. Maybe this is only as far as you can get right now. If the tutorial had the other stuff in it, like the tutorial had a drawbridge with the hydraulics and had a all these pieces unlocked. So we'll see. Uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed and want to see more of this in the future. Keep an eye out for this game coming out early access to Steam on June 30th, and I'll see you next time.